this next part of the operation probably one of the more important parts because what you're going to do you're going to be doing 88 times and it's not something that you can go back and change once you've made your decision um, all of these tubes follow a, a very logical pattern once you start out and you can follow follow these tubes up and you find out that this tube right here goes to the first note um, in the stack and this tube you get a picture of that down there and this tube right down there goes to the last note in the stack. You can also look at the tracker bar and although you can't see it readily just as there are two rows of tubes here there are also two rows of tubes here you saw that when I was looking at the other side of the tracker bar looking at the back side however units with a transposing tracker bar don't use all of the notes on the tracker bar there are 88 holes on the tracker bar and not all of them are used because the tracker bar, tracker bar moves back and forth uh, a total of two spots two spots on either side of zero okay. and since it does there are notes that would be outside of the range on one side when it's on the center side of zero and two notes on the other side when it would be on the other side of zero so what they do is they don't use the first four notes on this side or the last four notes on that side and it's pretty easy to see that you can tell by the discoloration on these nipples that these were never used these were never used the first note that's used is this one right here which is going to correspond to this one right here and they're going to go back and forth and back and forth one two one two one two one two one two that's how they're going to be tubed up but what we need to do is we need to find out how long to make that piece of rubber tubing and to do that we'll go ahead and put this one on here which is the first note that it's going to go to and we'll put it on the same distance that it was previously and then we'll bring this over here and right now I have this set as far as it'll go to the right and then I'm gonna make this so that it lays nice and even nice and smooth and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make this a little long at first so that I can see how it fits and actually I made it pretty good because what it has to do is it has to sit all the way up against this wood and connect without stretching you don't want to stretch you don't want to stretch this tubing to make it fit on there because otherwise when you multiply times 80 multiply this tubing times 80 if you have to stretch this in order to get the 
adjuster to move, it'll just be next to impossible. And not only that, uh, it's been proven over time that when you stretch a piece of rubber tubing, any any amount at all, when you stretch that amount of piece of rubber tubing, it's not going to last as long. 